Ruskin Bond is an Indian author of British descent. He lives with his family in Landur, Missouri in India. The Indian Council for Child Education has recognized his role in the growth of children's literature in India. He was awarded the Sahitya Akademi Award in 1992 for Our Trees Still Grow in Dehra, his novel in English. He was awarded the Padma Shri in 1999 and the Padma Bhushan in 2014. Yes through this video we the students of class 10D are going to tell you about the famous author Ruskin Bond and one of his short story Before going deep to the story let's know some of the things about the life and career of Ruskin Bond Ruskin Bond was born on May 19 1934 at Kasauli in India He was a son of Edith Clark and Aubrey Bond. His father served in the Royal Air Force and frequently traveled from one place to another with his son. He was very fond of his father. When he was 8 years old, his parents got separated and his mother left him. She was married to a Punjabi Hindu. But when he was 10 years old, His father also died out of malaria while he was working in Calcutta. He did his schooling from Bishop Cotton School in Shimla from where he graduated in 1950. He won several writing competitions in the school. When we check into his literary styles, we can see that most of his works are based on the Himalayas where he lived. His first novel The Room on the Roof was written when he was 17 and was published when he was 21. Now let us see one of the short stories written by Ruskin Bond in detail. The Blue Umbrella. The Blue Umbrella is an Indian novel written by Ruskin Bond. It was adapted into a Hindi film in 2005 by the same name, which later won the National Film Award for the best children's film. In 2012 it was adapted into a comic by Amar Chitrakatha Publication. This short novel is based on a typical gravelly village. In this novel the lead character is Binya, a small girl from Kerala, was a flower, a great blue flower that had sprung up on the dry brown hillside. With his words, Bond brings alive the gravelly landscape and varieties of beautiful mountainous terrain. The main theme of the story is to keep others happy by doling out the things that we love most. Thank you. The Blue Umbrella. In a small village called Garuvar, there lived a little girl Binya. In the village, the shopkeeper Ramarosa keeps an old useless shop and sells warm Coca-Cola bottles and sweets to school-going kids. A beautiful umbrella has been given to Binya by some foreigners on a picnic in the hills in exchange for her le- leopard claw pendant the people in her village has become very fond of her umbrella soon the shopkeeper becomes jealous and tries to buy it from binya by telling her that this is a fancy umbrella which small girls should not have be but uh, binya refuses give umbrella this is not for sale as a passes ramarosa's feelings to get umbrella this turn into obsession The school had been closed due to arrival of the monsoon and Ramborosa's employs a boy named Raja Ram from the next village to work at the shop. When he comes to know about his master's desire to own umbrella, he makes an attempt to steal the umbrella but Raja Ram fails and get catch. He then gives a Ramborosa's name now everyone stop coming to Ramborosa's shop. Ramborosa had got a bear and necklace and he got it it with silver however binya realizes her mistake that she should have shown off her umbrella as it was cause for ramrasa suffering finally finally at the end binya gives ramrasa the umbrella who gift a necklace with a bear's claw since the ramrasa started keeping the umbrella for anyone to borrow and people again began to visit the shop i am here to discuss about the theme or the highlights of the novel the blue umbrella 
The Blue Umbrella is a very short novel by Ruskin Bond. Though the direct audience is children, but the grown-ups and the old ones too like this novel because of its writing skill and the message it conveys. I personally feel that the main theme of the novel is to keep others happy by doling out the things that we love the most. It is tough to renounce the thing that we love. In this novel, the main character or the leading character, Binya, is a small girl from the hills. She is a tender age, but when she stumbles with some pickners from the plain, and when they demand, she gives her tiger's claw in exchange of the blue umbrella. Last, when the blue umbrella becomes a thing of envy for the ordinary and unpretentious villagers, the greedy Rambasura, the shopkeeper, takes possession on her umbrella by unethical ways. This act slanders his image and as a result, people stop coming to or entertaining him. This further caused a loss in his business. Unable to stand the agony of his loss, Binya gave her umbrella officially to save him from his loss sufferings. In a return gift, has a return gift, overwhelmed by her kindness, he gave her bear's claw, which is considered much more luckier than the tiger's. Till now, we have discussed and learned about the short fiction of Ruskin Bond, that is the blue umbrella. Now, let's have a short quiz time with a few questions as the part of our presentation. I have a number of questions related to the story Blue Umbrella. The first one, why do people like the Blue Umbrella? Second one, what is the theme of the story The Blue Umbrella? Third one, where did Binya get the umbrella from? So, like Shine asked, I am also having a few questions from the novel The Blue Umbrella. Do you think Binya did the right thing by risking her life to bring back the umbrella? Why do you think Binya always carries the umbrella with her? And what would have happened if the umbrella was not lost?